This island that we call home is a place filled with vast beauty. If we could take a moment to realize our island's beauty has many faces. From open sandy shores to rocky coastal cliff lines, the deep valleys, to the freshwater caves of the limestone forests, to cascading waterfalls. Our island's beauty is endless. And that's why when we walk in this land, we walk with respect. We walk with a deep love and appreciation because we are blessed to live in such a beautiful place. Join us on this journey. Myla Harlem. Buenas and half a day and welcome to Hila'a. When you think of Derido, you might think of the concrete jungle. But deep in the heart of this northern village lies beautiful pristine beaches, unique rock formations, and an ancient Lati village called Hila'an. Hila'an's root word is hula, or hila. Hila, meaning tongue. To get to Hila'an, you'll take a turn off of Marine Drive to head towards Punta Dosamantes. If you're southbound, it'll be a right turn. If you're coming from Route 16, You'll take a left at the traffic light across the mall and take a right into the turn towards Punta and Dos Amantes. If you're headed northbound on Marine Drive, you'll need to take a U-turn. Follow the road past its Punta and Dos Amantes and past the Northern District Sewage Plant and then turn left and you'll start to descend down the hill on the cliff to Tangisan Beach, also known as Caresu. As you prepare for your hike, make sure you bring plenty Hanan to keep you hydrated. Make sure you bring a bunch of friends or family and do not go alone. Do not overextend yourself and travel light. Other popular hiking attractions at Hilaan Village are the Lost Pond, Shark's Cove, or known to our elders as the Bomb Holes, and the Mushroom Rocks for scenic shops. Coming out onto the first bay, it was almost easy to forget the trash we'd seen as we were overtaken by the beauty of the land and sea. This first bay is pretty popular for scenic shots and photography due to the unique formations of the mushroom rocks. So another beautiful feature that pops up is the presence of the Gosali flower, also known as the Gosali. This particular flower is a really resilient flower that can take a lot of sunshine, a lot of wind. Um, it grows and it climbs up the limestone rocks. 
Its scientific name is Bikya Techandra, and it's also known as a torch wood. It's called this because the wood is easily ignited and it can be cut into small sections and can even be used as candles. At the start of the next bay, we're greeted with a delightful show by a kaleidoscope of butterflies. Did you know that a group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope? This is the butterfly tree and we couldn't find the native name, but you'll see that it's where they like to mate and eat and live their beautiful butterfly lives. Butterfly in Tamoru is a babang, so we decided to call it the Chonkona Babang. I'm a fish in the ocean of existence. God makes the waves and I offer no resistance. I'm a fish in the ocean of existence. God makes the waves and I offer no resistance. I'm a fish in the ocean of existence. Sina makes the waves and I offer no resistance. I'm a fish in the ocean of existence. Lahat makes the waves and I offer no resistance. I'm a fish in the ocean of existence. Tangaro makes the waves and I offer no resistance. I'm a fish in the ocean of existence. Kanaloa makes the waves and I offer no resistance. I'm a fish in the ocean of existence. Ocean makes the waves and I offer no resistance. I'm a fish in the ocean of existence. Ocean full of change and an ocean full of wisdom. And here we come to the third bay. And after this bay, we'll finally make our way into the ancient village, Sengsung Hilaan. But before we get there, there's a little trek we have to make. Like I said earlier, if the tide is high, be careful if you've got some electronics in your bag, too deep you might even have to hold it up above your head luckily on this day it wasn't so bad but take your time here don't move too quickly a diala It's very important that if you haven't already asked, you take this time to ask permission when you enter into the village. We believe that the spirits of our ancestors reside in these sacred places and we honor and we revere. At the Ladi site, you could see the Luzon that had grown on top of the stones and had actually helped protect it from deteriorating throughout the years. Remember, the Lati period in our history dates back to about anywhere from 1200 to 300 before the present era. So potentially these stones are thousands of years old. The capstones on the Lati and Hila'an, also known as the Tassa, are made out of brain coral, a common feature of the Latis on the northwestern coast. Puffabot. If you do come across these types of artifacts, be sure to leave them at the site as this helps keep the historical context of the place intact. It's also against our public law. To complete our visit, we blow the kulu or the conch shell. 
to honor our bloodlines, the clans and the families for the land which we have walked on, for the presence of the ancestors, for the beautiful of our past and symbols of our strength. It holds the causes of our joy. It's a place where we come together. It is a place of healing. Our island is our refuge. Our island is a place of peace and tranquility. If we would just take a moment to find it. Sizos maasi, taras hamdu, saina maasi, ten sizos, fan benindisi. This moment soon will pass Stay humble and be dignified Everything is good inside Like and not diminish When we stay committed To knowing what we've omitted Illuminates the vision Precision of thought Is awareness of the self Not selfish Discerning what truly cannot be helped A rock that wants to melt Does not stay above the surface But communicates to relatives And asks them for the service Searching for the